that is the Great River. Um, the oh, Great yeah. River to me just has such a forward, beautiful, pristine sound, and it's very versatile because it can get kind of dirty and crunchy, uh, but it can also be really crystal clear. Um, so for me, that's kind of the holy grail of preamps, and it's not even the most expensive one. No. Um, yeah. But I do love it. I love how it sounds. Great. Awesome. Well, thanks for indulging me on that question. Um, all right. So now we're going to get some questions from the audience. And the first one is from Pat Collins, who asks, what mics work best for certain genres of VO? So that's an interesting can of worms question. Um, who wants to attack that one? I'll, I'll take a stab at that one. Um there's there is no right and wrong answer here yep. a good mic is a good mic is a good mic and and uh it's it's as simple as that but in terms of what's popular what's trendy um shotgun mics specifically the 416 tend to be really popular in the promo world or anywhere where you really want it to cut through and less desirable in long form narration audiobooks things like that because it it gets a little tiring to listen to mm. and um yeah you know, large diaphragm condensers are good for everything they're they're universal um and and ribbon mics and a few darker sounding large diaphragm condensers i really like for the long form stuff they yeah. they sound a little dull when you first hear them but after listening to them for a while they they sound really nice it's pleasant it's more like somebody sitting next to you talking to you than someone talking at you through a speaker dan anything to add no i agree with pretty much all of that absolutely yeah, I, I'm sorry. I wish I could be more confrontational or, or controversial. <laughs> I know. Why didn't? I, I know. I mean, why can't we battle it out? <laughs> this isn't Facebook. Come on. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, and speaking of Facebook, can I just tell everyone that if you if Emmett comments on something that you post on a Facebook forum, just listen to what he has to say because he's almost always right, which is annoying, but it's the case. <laughs> so just do whatever he says. <laughs> okay. So. Um, Anna Clements asks, what are your thoughts on male versus female vocal production qualities and which models best res represent different pitches? I think she means which mics suit certain frequencies, male versus female. I think that's that's what she was getting at there. Yeah, I, I love Anna. Uh, very cool person. Mm. Uh, totally dig her. Um, you know, again, it, it's really there's so many other factors involved hmm. that, you know, how one microphone sounds in one room can sound completely different on the same person in another room. Hmm. So I don't put as much, uh, you know, I, I don't put as much pressure on the microphone in that respect. I really put it more on the environment that you're in. Hmm. Um, that's just how I feel about it. I mean, certainly, you know, there are mics that are well known to be more, uh, you know, have a lot more t high end to them. Uh, others are more dull, um, mm. things like that. Uh, but to me, it still really boils down to the environment when it comes to that, because the same microphone can sound so different in different environments. Mm. Emmett, any thoughts on this? Uh, I I don't have much to add except re-stressing the importance of finding the sweet spot for that mic, which is going to be a lot more important than any specific model number. You know, finding right. the spot where it really sings and, and resonates with your voice, which is going to be different with a high-pitched female than a, a baritone male. 